Welcome to Arizona Outdoor Fun. Safety is our number one priority and it's important for you to understand that you are fully responsible for the safety of yourself, the safety of those around you, and the safety of the vehicle you are checking out. The vast majority of accidents we see on the trail are caused by reckless and aggressive driving. It is your responsibility to remain in control of your vehicle at all times and to follow all instructions given by the Arizona Outdoor Fund staff. Aggressive driving can be seen as driving too fast, spinning tires, drifting, donuts, and passing. Aggressive driving is not only dangerous for you and everyone else around you, it also leads to excessive trail erosion, dust, and an increased chance of damaging our vehicles. Reckless and aggressive driving of any kind will not be tolerated and you will be responsible for paying for any damages that you cause. Here at Arizona Outdoor Fun, we have some of the most adventurous trails in the world. The rocky, narrow, mountainous trails here are unlike anything most people have ever experienced. Part of these trails call for little to no room for error, and it is imperative that you pay close attention and fully understand all operations of your ATV before heading out onto the trails. If after finishing the ATV training session you are not feeling 100% confident in your ability to complete the ride safely, we ask that you be honest with yourself and with us and do not participate in the ATV ride. If this happens, you will still have the option to participate in the tour by switching to one of our safer and easier to drive UTVs, if one is available. ATV riding is a strenuous full body activity that requires standing, crouching, and squeezing with your legs, as well as controlling the steering, throttle, and brakes with your arms and hands. Keeping all four wheels on the ground requires counterbalancing by shifting your body weight on the machine. If the trail is uneven and the right side is higher than the left, shift your weight to the right side or high side of the ATV to keep it balanced. When going uphill, moderately shift your weight forward. When going downhill, shift your weight back a little. When making turns, shift your weight into the turn. When transferring your weight correctly, it should not feel like you are aggressively throwing your weight around. It should instead feel like you are smoothly and effortlessly keeping the machine balanced. Make sure you are looking out far enough ahead of your ATV to give yourself time to react to the terrain ahead and to choose the smoothest, easiest path. Looking at the ground directly in front of your ATV will not give you enough time to react to the changing terrain and could cause an accident. To steer the ATV, shift your body weight and lean into the turn while using push-pull techniques with your arms to turn the handlebars. When making a left turn, shift your body weight to the left while pushing forward with your right arm and pulling back with your left arm. All of our ATVs have a rear brake pedal by the right side foot pedal and a front brake lever on the right side of the handlebars. Our utility ATVs have an additional rear brake on the left side of the handlebars. On our sport ATVs, this left hand lever is not a brake, it's a clutch lever. The rear brake should be used as your primary braking force and your front brake should be used sparingly when needed. Increase pressure on the brakes slowly to avoid locking up the tires and sliding on the loose dirt. You will have low traction on these trails. Be sure to give yourself plenty of room to stop. Parking brakes need to be applied before getting off the ATV. To set the parking brake on our utility ATVs, squeeze the left hand brake. While squeezing the brake, use your right hand to push the locking mechanism forward. While holding the locking mechanism forward, slowly release the brake lever until it locks into place. To release the parking brake, squeeze and release the brake lever. To set the parking brake on our sport ATVs, press in the pin on the left hand side clutch lever. With the pin pressed down, pull the clutch lever in. While keeping the clutch lever pulled in, let go of the pin and pull back the locking lever. Once locked into position, you can release the clutch lever. To release the parking brake, 
pull on the clutch lever, push back the locking mechanism, and then release the clutch lever. The accelerator on our ATV is located on the right hand side of the handlebars. To accelerate, apply steady, gradual pressure to the thumb throttle until you reach your desired pace. Just like in a car, accelerating too quickly can cause you to lose control of the vehicle. It is important to remember to move your thumb away from the throttle if you feel like you are going too fast or beginning to lose control. This will prevent you from squeezing the throttle even harder when trying to grip the handlebars. To start our ATVs, locate the red kill switch on the left side of the handlebars and make sure it is in on position. Next, turn the key to the right to power on the electronics. Once the key is on, make sure the ATV is in neutral. If the ATV is in neutral, the screen should show N, and the green neutral light will be illuminated. The ATV cannot start if it's not in neutral. If it's not in neutral, shift the vehicle up or down until it is. Once in neutral, locate the starter button on the left hand side of the handlebars. Press and hold to start the ATV. Let go once the vehicle has started. Always make sure you return the ATV to neutral before shutting it down. Once in neutral, turn the key to the left to shut it down. Our utility ATVs are all automatics and only need to be shifted between neutral, drive, and reverse. With the ATV powered on, locate up and down arrows on the left side of the handlebars. To put the ATV into drive, press the up arrow. Once in gear, use the thumb throttle to accelerate. To bring the ATV back to neutral, press the down arrow. For reverse, locate the black or red tab or button on top of the left hand brake. Once located, it is a three step process. First, press the button or pull the tab. Then, while still holding the button or tab, squeeze the brake lever. While still pulling the brake lever, press the down arrow. Once in reverse, use the thumb throttle to accelerate backwards. To return back to neutral, press the up arrow. Always be sure to return to neutral before turning the vehicle off. Our sport ATVs require manually shifting between neutral, reversed, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth gear. To shift, locate the shift lever by the left foot peg. Once located, shift up a gear by pulling up on that shift lever. Or shift down a gear by pressing down on that shift lever. All of our sport ATVs are equipped with a learner's clutch. It is not mandatory to use, but it does allow for easier, smoother shifting. The clutch lever is located on the left hand side of the handlebars. To use the clutch, simply pull in the lever when shifting gears. Just like on a mountain bike or in a standard transmission car, lower gears are used for low speeds and for going uphill, while higher gears are used for higher speeds on smooth terrain. In general, first and second gear are used for hills and third gear is used for flat sections. When the engine is revving up really high or getting really loud, you will need to shift up. If the ATV is bogging down or sounds like it is going to cut off, you need to shift down. It is very important that you are actively listening to the ATV and cycling through the gears appropriately. To shift into reverse, make sure the ATV is in neutral and locate the reverse tab near your right knee. Then pull back the reverse tab and press down on the gear shifter. Once in reverse, a red light will illuminate. To return to neutral, shift up. Always be sure to return to neutral before turning off the vehicle. After you complete the practice session, you will have to decide if you feel confident to continue on to the tour. The trails we take on the tour are more difficult than the practice course. So it is important that you feel 100% confident in your ability to do more difficult trails than you did during the practice session. If you do not feel 100% confident, we recommend that you switch into a, one of our easier to drive UTVs, if one is available. Mm -hmm.